So good evening everyone, uh, we're going to start off like a new series in this channel which is like me reviewing a lot of the powerlifting equipment. Uh, I think we already did uh, knee sleeves before and I guess protein shakes, I don't know, but we haven't like reviewed a lot of other brands and a lot of like, other equipments. And yes, so this is the start of the new segment I guess. Okay, so what we have today is the Avancus 2.5. Uh, that was given to me by Strength Yard Asia. So just a bit of a disclosure, I did not purchase this. They sent it to me uh, through Calvin and I guess like I'm gonna have to test it out and then give it a try and see like what's my opinion on them and release this video. Now my opinion, like I haven't sent them any of these opinions at all. So meaning that like whatever I say up here is completely fresh, completely new. Uh, however, I did confirm with some of like the Strength Academy members to see if whatever I'm trying to tell or if I'm whatever I'm trying to say is it like negative or you know it's just my opinion right so they all say that it's fine so I guess you know have an open heart and let's get on to this video okay so first of all these shoes like like it or not I would say I would definitely say that this is probably the best powerlifting shoes I have uh, in my current position right now but there's a bit of a takeaway so Okay, now let's talk a bit of these shoes, right? Now, the, the, the reason why these shoes were made was because some of like the, these other shoes that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit, they all have their own like flaws and their own like uses and things like that. Uh, versus these is just to try and, you know, make it as a whole as, as possible. And the reason why I would say like this is the best powerlifting shoes ever is because you can technically like use them for all three lifts, which means that you can use them for your squats, your bench, your deadlifts, your accessories, whatever. Right, now, is it perfect though? I don't know about that part. I've tried these on for the past month, month and a half, I, I, I don't remember. Okay. But sometimes after I did this 230 uh, squat, I think is when I start using this. Yeah, so uh, I did 230 with my old other uh, Vivos, but uh, after that I switched to these just to give them a try. Okay. So now here's my here's here's my opinion. Okay, now first of all, they are they are correct. So these shoes they are not considered as white shoes. So nowadays we are not really looking for like white feet shoes. We're looking for like barefoot feet shoes. You know how like your feet has like you know like that, right? It's like it has a bit of like a curve and then it goes down like that, like a, a triangle, I would say. And you can definitely see that the front of the shoes is not like you know super narrow. And it goes down to the side, it's pretty wide. And then same goes as here, it, it doesn't go narrow down, it, it goes build up to that shoe shape, uh, to that feet shape, foot shape, whatever. So then the grip, the grip is good enough that you can actually use them for bench as well, right? And is it, is it the best? Again, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to continue with that. Okay, now some of the other shoes that we have before, which are, which are definitely what we use like the slippers before, they usually don't have any like ankle support versus like this, you can see that it's pretty rigid. Nowadays, they also like come out with like the high top version that, you know, a bit more ankle support. What are my thoughts of using them? Uh, first of all, like I said, if let's say budget is not, budget is an issue for you where, you know, you need something that's convenient that you just need one pair of shoes in your bag, uh, fits like these are like 490 ringgit, I think. So you just have to pay one time and you just have to carry one shoes, one pair of shoes with you. It's very convenient. It's... 500 you get to use it for all three lifts so you see that's what I meant like it fits all but it's not the best and here's the comparison that I'm going to start doing with my first pair of sort of like lifting shoes I don't have my Converse with me but if let's say you can stay away from Converse go ahead because they are very narrow unless you have very narrow feet then it's fine but if you do have slightly white foot or you have Mountain Neuroma like I do, then try your best not to use Converse. Okay, so now leads to my kind of like, for example, like lifting shoes, which are the Notorious Lift. Uh, and the reason why uh, I really like this before is because, uh, especially when you take off the insole, uh, in a way it becomes very damn flat, which is what we want. And you know, it's very grippy, uh, fairly grippy, right? Now, the two reasons why I am not using this and the reason why these are slightly better than this is because of the ankle support. 
the anchor support and the grip. So these, they, they do grip, but you know, sometimes they do slip a little bit and you see how there's like barely any anchor support. I guess it, that's why it's called like deadlift slippers. So it's, it's not meant to be supportive at all. And because of that, like I, my feet sometimes when I do the squats, it's my ankle starts to roll a little bit and that causes a bit of, a, of an issue. One thing for sure is the fact that these are very flat versus this, even though like I say, it's very low profile, there is still a bit of a thickness on the on from your from the ground to your feet, so you can't really feel the ground as much. True, you can take off these insoles, but let me get back to you why I'm not doing that. Okay, now let's say comparing to my next shoes that I use would be <laughs> these warriors. Oh, by the way, the notorious leaf just now they are probably around like three hundred ringgit or something like that. Uh, and then now these are the cheapest and the most versatile shoes I've ever worn for my lifting which are only like about 60 ringgit on Lazada. Uh, they fit everything, they're not super narrow. You can see that, that it's, it's pretty wide. It's still not barefoot shape. It's still quite, you know, very like narrow at the front. But if you buy the right size, it's just, just enough. It's fairly pretty grippy. This is, these are what our parents used to use in school for sports. But yeah, and then it does have a bit of an ankle support. Now the reason why these are probably not the best is because after a while, the grip sort of like wear, uh, wear off, so you can't really wear them for bench as much anymore. But other than that, I think like, you know, these are, if let's say you don't care about things as much and you are a beginner, go ahead and do this. Uh, now, go on next. After that, I actually switched out to the Vivo Barefoot. Now, these, if I, if I were to like compare this Vivo Barefoot and the Avancus, right. Now, there's a few, there's a few things why I would, go with the Avancus is because, again, these you can use for all three lifts, right? Now with the Vivo, the, as you can see, like the sole or the, the bottom of the shoe, it's, it's pretty flat and it's pretty like flat. So there's not that much grip. So you can use them for like squats or that lifts. But when it comes to bench, it's so easy for you to like slip on this. So that's why I'm not really a big fan of like benching with this. It does have a bit of an ankle support, but as you can see, over time, it starts to get like stretched out a little bit and that caused a bit of an issue for me and it become like something like this again. So that's why I'm not a super fan of it. Now, how I counter that is by using this hyper -glease. right? Now, think about this. The Vivo just now already cost me about like 100, uh, 800 to like 1,000 ringgit and then now I have to spend another like 100 to 150 ringgit just to get the hyper -glease. and the fact that I can only use the Vivos for squats and deadlift and then I have to use this for bench. It means that like, I need to like spend about like thousand two just to get like shoes. And the fact that, uh, how to say, these are unfortunately like to be honest, like they are very, very grippy, uh, but they are very, very narrow. So in a way that you can't use them for squats, you can't use them on deadlift. You can try to squat with them, but definitely not deadlift because they, are, they, they provide a little bit of a, of a platform. Goes back to this, again, you can use them for all three for just 490 ringgit, right? So. To fix the whole like ankle issue of this, uh, I did got the Vivo Modus and it does have a bit of an ankle support. So this helps uh, and it does have a bit more grip, but I still wouldn't bench in these uh, just because like I don't want to like risk any of my performance. So yeah, now it goes back to the question of like, am I going to use this as my daily driver? Because I already have the other ones, right? So I don't really 100% need to use this as much as, as I can. Maybe on some days I would put them on, maybe some days I won't. And these are the reasons. Number one goes by, and it, it's pretty petty, but I'm so sorry. Uh, number one, these shoes, they have, they are trying to have like a bit of an arch support inside. I don't know if you guys, maybe if you guys try it on, you, know, you, can, you can see that there is a bit of an arch support. And this arch support is in the wrong position in my opinion. Uh, I sized up on this because again, the 41 was a bit like uh, short and narrow-ish. So I went with 42, which made it a bit, a bit longer. Now the issue is this arch placement ended up being slightly more to the ball of my foot, which means that I need to like slide my feet a bit more to the front in order for that arch to sit on my foot. And if not, it will be like very uncomfortable. Now, second of all, the grip. <laughs> I just realized because I'm so used to like squatting in like the vivos where the grip is not that crazy. So what's gonna happen is that like when I squat and then when I try to like step out, I don't increase my feet too much. And when, what, what, what happened then, that there's a bit of a drag. Now because these are slightly less grippy, that drag doesn't cost me as much. Versus if I 
am using the Abancus. The grip is crazy enough that whenever I try to like drag it out, it does feel like it was a bit hard to like drag it out and that causes a bit of like distraction for me and I, I'm not a fan of that. Now, a second one is the reason why I kind of like tend to like try to squat in these is because of that whole like arch thingy. These have, doesn't have them so I'm like more comfortable with it and I can like play around with the lacing. This one even if I play around with the lacing, it doesn't really like change the shape of the shoes because it's quite rigid. And lastly, the fact that even without taking off the sole of these, I can still feel the floor quite a lot. So it's, it's, it's just personal preference, honestly. All right, so that would be for squats. Now, let's talk about the, how, how they look on feet. After this, you're gonna see how like this compared to the Vivo, the, the fact that like this ankle part of it is very like thick. One of the lifters here like call it like it, it looks like a clown shoes when you wear them. It looks it looks nice at the front, but then like when you look at the back, when you put it on, it looks quite fat. So I don't know. It just it just it just weird looking like you know the 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 slimmest part of your feet is now like the thickest part of your feet. So that's a bit of a problem for me. The grip, that's it. Grip is nice enough, but I think when I'm benching, I'm probably gonna stick around with these because of two reasons. They provide a bit of a platform for me. I'm not the tallest lifter in the world, so because of that, I do need a bit of a platform. And you know, these are just these are in between this and the the Vivo, but I kind of like prefer to have like slightly like thicker sole for my bench because I can reach the flop, uh, reach the ground a little bit better. And the grip, for some reason, I feel a lot more secure with this, uh, and that's why I'll, I'll hang around and then like use my hypervis for my bench for deadlifts. I I guess like I can deadlift in this. So, but again, if let's like, say I'm already like traveling with my Vivo, I might as well just like use my Vivo to deadlift rather than using these. But on some cases, maybe I'm just like lazy to bring around uh, other shoes to like the gym. Then maybe I'll just go ahead with this. Uh, lastly, I do have a comment though. I feel like the laces is a bit overkill so these are actually like double knots if it's like a single knot like you can definitely see that the laces are very long like i, I don't know why you why you would need this that to be that long i'm pretty sure if the, if someone who have like really big feet they wouldn't like size down on the shoes so they would like open up the shoes a bit more and still it's, it's pretty long i get this like from a lot of lifters that say that the laces are really long that it looks like dangly so again, like maybe it sounds very wrong, but I'm the kind of lifter that, that feels that like, you know, you look good on the platform, you, you train good on the platform. So we don't know how it goes. All right, so, so you get this. Like I said again, if let's say a budget is an issue for you and you don't already have everything else at, at your dispense, then go ahead and get these because they are the most economical. And also at the same time, they are fit for all. Like you can use all the squat, bench and deadlift. All the key aspects that you need to make sure that your squats, your bench or your deadlift are good are there. Uh, you don't really need anything else. But if let's say someone like me who are, I already have like all the, uh, these other ones, I can still rotate around and figure out like, what's best for me before my next competition. And it's just going to be like that. So thank you again, Strength Yard Asia, for providing me with this. Uh, I'll continue to train with them, but I don't know for how long. And yeah, like that's, that's just it. I'm just trying my best to like be as honest as I can. And I hope that uh, people take this as an opinion, not a criticism. So. Yeah, if you guys have any other gears that you want me to review, just let me know and I'll try to do them next time. So thank you and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.